Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues, in which I am your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and we are playing as a kind of a large lone star in what will eventually hopefully become the Provisional Republic of Texas. We've got a couple of comms to go over. We need to establish dominance over the I-10. We'll see what happens with Shale's army. Let's go ahead and do another focus, shall we? Let's see. And that's Civilian Commission. That's not bad. I like civilian factories. Lannis approaches... Okay, you get some forts. One army for Texas, two new conscription laws, protect the northern flank. A fleet of eight canoes and four sailing ships will be raised out of Haskell. That's kind of cool. Uh, is there anything else here we could do maybe for their knowledge? We get Daisy Roth. Ooh, you know what? I'll probably just go ahead and grab Embrace Civilian Commerce to get to a few more factories. Why not? Civilian capabilities in both ourselves and the fellow members of the Texan Economic Union could do with some improvement. With the correct incentives, we could surely enhance civilian commerce. we got a couple comps, like I said, to go through, but I kind of want to wait for this with Shields Army. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. We've got plenty of money to do this. We might as well, right? And stonks. We aren't quite sure what an index fund is or even if they exist. Against advice from our esteemed advisor, Jeremy, this investment has done a great... A job in growing the wealth of our nation. Bull or maybe bear? Shale's armies refuse. It seems that our willingness to push forward at all costs will not be put to the test. Shale's armies refuse our offer, which now places pressure on our response. We must achieve our goals. Ah, finally, a little bit of warfare. Invest stimulus? We could. Tax breaks, incentives, basically. Slipways. Marlurks. All they true to Kaiser. No, no, no. Will them. It seems like Shale has chosen ridiculously poorly, and he shall be taught... A lesson, which will help the Ironmongers, which I think technically these guys are fighting anyways, but this will definitely help out the unity of Austin. So, I guess it's time to go war. Guess it's time. You say no, we lose all of our war support. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, do we have claims on Los? Was it Los that we had claims on? Who do we have claims on? Oh, it's down here. Odessa, huh? Baroness, I don't think we'll have. T we shouldn't have too many issues with these guys. They can pierce us, which is unfortunate, but. Oh, you guys are. Uh, I'll have the weaker army up here. Force the attack. You guys can probably win if we force it, so. And that's what matters the most right now. Mojave Territories, Player War, and the Fiends. Very cool. Didn't need war support for what we need. War support? War support. Oh boy. Now, these guys should definitely lose since, well, they're fighting two other nations at the same time, so. I need you guys to help out here. Help push them out. Push them away. Kill them off. Normal way to do stuff. There you go. Cool. And let's see. Losses. We're going to cover. Incur quite a few losses. Unity, Unity of Austin's already lost quite a bit, though. We've cut off only 70, but at least we cut off more of them than they've cut off of us. Help support the attack immediately, so we'll break over the river. That is good, good, good. Help destroy them. Hopefully this will destroy these enemies, which will be very, very nice. Uh, Scavenger's Trump, why not? Awareness, why not? Why not? Good, good, good. Now we should have one united front here, actually, at this point. I think this is all one big old united front. There we go. That should be okay. And you can push immediately. Air superiority wise, we're doing very well. Very, very, very well. Wow. Better than I thought what we would be doing. Go ahead and do more ground crews. There goes part of Mexico. It's on fire. But hey, we love Mexico when it's on fire. Hey, we encircled five enemy divisions. Look at that. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Five divisions of super mutants go bye bye. Civilian draft, hey, we could use that population 4% more, even though we lose organization. Let's finish our line induction with infiltration tactics, in which our soldiers or walking infantry get 0.5 more recon, and light special forces get more soft attack and hard attack. Very cool. We've casually killed off 1.2,000 of them. Not bad. Unity of us. Oh, boy. These guys die. That would not be good. Can we join your war against them? Hey, they go show his army, though. All right. Let's take what I think. There we go. Nice and quick. Arizona, sure. Uh, yeah. Ironmongers, you get boom, boom. And then you guys get that, that, that. Well, technically we wanted to go to war them, but since they're part of the Union anyways, we'll give this to them anyways. Should be okay, right? Alrighty, let's see what happens. For now, I'm going to have you guys do this. We probably really will run out of man... Well, maybe we won't run out of manpower, but we won't have a lot of it. And that's not good. Alright, well... We'd love to come in to help you. At this point. It's only 80 days. We'll take them out. Radio. Awesome. Let's grab some frequency analysis. Even better. We'll definitely try to help them out, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. A couple comments. First of all, someone says I should restore the old original claims that Texas had, like back in the day when going all the way up to Colorado. 
was it even Santa Fe as well? Uh, maybe, maybe we'll do that. I'm not really sure. Twice the roads, twice the wealth. Ooh, yeah, why not? Now that we dominate the trade on the I-10 as well as the I-20, we have hegemony over all trade entering Texas from the West. We are wealthy indeed. Awesome. So, we could do that. I, I was thinking, as other people did point out as well. Oh, wow, it hurts our political power even more. Pursuit, good. Well, next time we will be prepared. I was thinking about doing just little state borders, like the U.S. state of Texas, U.S. state, even a portion of Louisiana. I might, once we integrate with the Brotherhood, I'm going to go with frag grenades for this campaign. Uh, that I released Louisiana, probably like Gator Mall, whatever, as one like puppeted state that owns Louisiana or whatever Louisiana that we currently do have. So, I think I will probably try to do that. Someone says I should play as Mojave Territories. I probably will. Yeah, I definitely want to someday. I definitely want to play as the General Lee Oliver. March on Bitter Springs. He looks like a little fun campaign we could try out, so. Oh, Cement Oliver's Authority, Cement Oliver's Resignation. Oh. Hoover must not fall, a hard point gamble, or gambit. Huh. Kaiser de Lenda Est. <laughs> wow. Make Vegas see sense. Clean out Nipton. Oh, we get a core on that one, that's not bad. Well, if he plays them. Let's see. Lone Star looking kinda... Kinda weird, not gonna lie. That's alright. We own uh, pretty much all of Northern Texas, which is a pretty good thing in my mind. Now I'm just gonna wait for these guys to get finished up. Alright, so if we're going to have to do this, I'm going to have the infantry come down here. Lower Terrace, we would like to be, read about this, so be it. That's fine. Uh, let's have good relations with those guys. Come down here, do that, do that. Good, good, good. Happy guys come over here as well. Because you never know what might just happen. Very cool. Get some uh, polyalphabetic ciphers. Very good. Other comments. Let's see. Oh, oh, Santa Anna marches. He's understated by Tlaloc and now plans his grand offensive into Texas. He tends across the Rio Grande and we best be ready. Didn't we deal with these guys 400 years ago? Probably. Ooh, do we have any anti-tank? Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we definitely need to get some, get some anti-tank. Ooh, you know what? Lower this by two because we need to spread our resources a little bit more. I want to say thinly, but make sure everything is at least covered at least a little bit. That'll be good. We could core more stuff. That was one of the comments that we don't get cores on all of Texas, which is a little disappointing. So, we'll have to deal with that. Uh, Whetstones, more division, 3% 3, 3 more division attack, that's not really that good. Investing this new care package, how, how is this coming along? Uh, we have 700 some, eh. Uh, less resistance. I mean, do we ever, we already have maxed out compliance up here anyways. Doing it around here could be kind of beneficial though in the long, short term. I suppose we can try it, why not? Get more compliance, get less resistance target, that'd be pretty good. Hey, level 9, not bad. We could come more stuff, but like someone said, like I, like I think I just said, that uh, we um, don't get free cores on all of Texas once we become the Provisional Republic, which kind of sucks, not going to lie, but whatever. I'll probably still end up coring Fort Clovis just so we get an, at least one more province under us. I think that'd be pretty good. So, you guys don't need a train. How are our div divisions looking so we have the patrolman. Go, man, it's nice. 16 combat width. Can I throw you on there? Yes, we can. Can I throw you guys on here? Yes, I can. Good, 20. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so how much support equipment do we have? 76. That's not enough, but it might just be enough for chems. Doggos, fire teams, that look pretty good. And I believe I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go down the left side so we can expand the number of special forces that we can have, or should we go down the right side? At the time of this recording, uh, the victor to this goes to the right side. So we're going to have really strong special defenses, or special forces, I should really say. So, Marksmanship Doctrine, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. How about infantry? Sundogs were annexed. Goodbye, Sundogs. Infantry. Twin combat with not bad. Hmm. Tax breaks are not all right. Doesn't really help us that much. How much water do we have? There's diplomacy. We've got plenty of water for now. We'll be fine. Oh, can we core at least this place now? Yes, we can. About a thousand more manpower. Good. Twice the roads, twice the wealth. Unified Doctrine Research. Ooh, maybe I should have not have done this one then. Oh, well, it's a little too late. Whatever. We we'll need to get it done eventually, but... Increases Trade Node and Lone Star. I'll have its level increased by one. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do that one, just because we can get that one done pretty quickly. I think it'll be pretty good. So, Unified... Doctrine research. By sharing the secrets of our military with nations of the economic union, we can all benefit from each other's wisdom. So that'd be pretty good. Let's get that one done so we can increase the trade node level 
of Lone Star. I think that'd be pretty good to do. Pretty darn good. And we're still going to war with these guys. And then Santa Ana marches. Oh, TAA. Oh, that is not good. Uh, do we really want to take out the Ironmongers? We could give uh, the Unity of Austin more territory. But then we have, to big, we have quite a big old land border with these guys, which would not be good. They are fighting the Republic of the Rio Grande. Santa Ana is on his march, which is not ideal. All right, well, screw it. We're going to do it anyways. Actually, you have no manpower, so that's actually fine with us. Call on these guys, too. We'll get involved. Oh, they immediately begin attacking. Wow. Corruption in Lone Star. Scandals rock Lone Star. As oppressors reveal that some of Lone Star's leaders are making or taking bribes in exchange for government favors. Brahmin ranchers, gun runners, and others have been abusing their nation for their own personal gain. Many critics wonder if Lone Star is worth dying for if its leaders will tolerate this sort of misconduct. I don't want to lower war support. We're going to lose political power then, so be it. You guys go right ahead. Got some of that. Let's grab some anti-tank. That'd be good. Frag grenades? Sure. Now we could help support the attack here. That would not be bad. Then you guys can come down here. And you guys are already supporting right there, so that's not too bad. You guys can come right here, too. And you guys can help support the attack as well. They actually have tanks. Whoa. Yeah, we definitely need to get some anti-tank then. Oh, my goodness. That is not ideal. So this should help out these guys down here, too. But with the Brotherhood helping attack, that's not a bad thing at all. You probably can't even pierce them. Oof. Maybe we had to research piercing before we went to war. They have, they have a lot of tanks. I did not realize that. Wow. Wow. Hey, but they're spreading out pretty darn well, so I'd say that. It's pretty good. Alright, but they're out of manpower, so... That's all that matters right now. We lost 208. That's quite a few guys. Quite a few. Oh, that is not good. TAA is n dying is not good either. Oh, their strength is really bad, though. That's really good. That their strength is bad. Let's do distribute arms to the citizenry. Just so we can get this one done while we're still at war. We need every citizen to be able to defend themselves if we are to ward off the threat emerging against their nation. And so they must all bear arms. Just in case, for the future. Because we might not be able to get rid of that later on. We might be able to, but... We should be able to get that done before the war ends. Having escaped declared war on declared war on High Chapel. What are we building currently? Zillion factories. I'm totally okay with that. Hey, an encirclement of, like... Five, seven divisions. Probably more like five. Ranger Westland training. Let's grab some of this. Aquatic combat training. Good. And now we're done with our land doctrine. Great. Recon is going to be really good for us. Suppression. we got to wait on that. The better dogs. Might as well. How many dogs are we making? Are we have 468 riders. Do you have dogs on you? Yes, you do. So that's worth doing. Good. Actually, we should... Ooh, no, we can't switch everyone over yet. Now it's going to drop to 140. That's fine with me. Land his cohort declared war on those folks. Ooh. I mean, they're, they're fighting the last man, so... What we're going to do is probably pause the attacks. Just because... I don't want to lose any more divisions. And I want to make sure we get that focus done. Because you have to be at war to get that one focus that we just left to, to be done, so... Actually, we're going to war with Santa Ana now. That would not be bad since they're busy with the Republic. Tlalocan. Glory Falls. Is all this war and death really glorious? Depends on who you're asking. Why am I still on this page? Stop doing it. Thank you. Mm. Bone Dancers are here. Old Spokane State. Oh. Lanius is... Oh, Painted Rock is up there. We have a huge border with Lanius. I don't like this. I really don't. At this point, you guys can probably actually reform into one solid front line. That'd be fine with me. Yeah, they move around. It won't really matter to me. Painted Rock is gone. Goodbye, Painted Rock. Goodbye. If you really want to help out, you guys can. No longer give Brotherhood aid, so be it. Whatever. Didn't even know we had aid. Uh, oh, they're still moving down. Brotherhood is... They must have a lot of resistance as well, which is not good. But hey, the more resistance they have. Battle wagons, whoa. Oh, that must be their tanks. Their type of tanks, that's fine. Good. We got about 17, 16, 15 days left. The big ol' attack should help crush them, and we, then we got to really focus on anti-tank stuff. Marksmanship Doctrine, very good. But we'll get some better recovery rates next. And we're about to have some anti-tank, which is awesome. Hey, and it's like a month. All right, at this point, I think we're pretty confident just going ahead and mowing them down. Force the attack for these guys. 
You should do pretty darn well, especially if you cut them off. Zoom, 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 zoom! Go ahead and grab the next level of anti-tank stuff. And we're gonna really try to maximize this. Oh, let's go down to three, that'd be fine. Alright, infantry, you're gonna need anti-tank immediately. We might not have enough. Oh, we have more than enough. Sweet. Patrolmen, looking like really good. Patrolmen, we don't have enough army XP for you. My apologies. But it is what it is. Anyone else have upgrades? Generals? Anybody? No? Okay. Well, whatever. If you'd like to support the attack. Oh, they did. They did a little last stand there. That's just pretty nice. Pandora's box. Unfortunately, we got army XP, or 50 manpower back, as well as 40 units of infantry equipment, so... Alright, so be it. That actually, that army XP is really useful right now. Let's grab this complicated circuitry. Let's go ahead and do this as well. Ooh, infantry. We did, we did those ones already. Anti-tank. Good. We could use doggos. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll use something else. Distribute arms factories to the citizens. Good. Let's go ahead and grab the economic... The union's economic boom, just because I want to have the trade node increased. Thanks to the years of prosperity, unity, and cooperation, the economies of these nations that make up the Texan econ economic union are booming. Hooray! A hoorah! Nice. There we go. We should be able to pierce whoever's down here now. Yes, we can. And that's a good thing. Which helps us, or give us the ability to pierce these guys as well. Santa Ana. You know what? Maybe we'll just wait to go to war with them because we'll make a big old deal about Santa Ana invading Texas again. Maybe we'll take out the Alamo. Maybe we'll ask or demand for the territories down here, but we'll see what happens. We will definitely see. Force the attack for these guys, even though they're not actually attacking anybody right now, but now they are. Can we pierce their APCs? Yes. We cannot. Oh, oh motorized. You needed to. Don't want to forget my, my motorized. Oh, they're only 20 combat with the man. What am I doing? I am failing so hard right now. Get some cams too. Lowers their armor, but whatever. Uh, demo team, yeah, I need that too. I'll get those some tanks on there. At that point, you might as well just make APCs. 18 combat, oh, that's fine, whatever. A's play warrant. Esports? No, esports. Not e not esports. Looking kind of weird. Whetstones. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, oh, are, are we out of guns? Oh, we're out of support equipment, that's not good. Oh, we need some more of this, too, and then some more of this. Keep that on one. We need way more of that, too, so. Can we actually buy that? Yes, we can. That's good. Aquatic combat training. Very awesome. Let's grab some Ranger Doctrines. Yeah, Ranger Doctrine. Thank you very much. We could just encircle them and kill them off, but nah. They're already encircled anyways. I think we're doing pretty darn well. We lost Austin, but that's all right. Training program's pretty good. Let's grab some refined mixtures. Very, very nice. Oh, shells on me. 11,000 have died. We've killed all 4,000 of them. That's not bad. And the Ironmongers are gone. Alright. This is going to be really ugly. I'm not going to give anything to the Brotherhood, even though we probably should. Uh, I guess I'll give you all of this. Actually, you know, I will give you all that. But I'm going to actually take back these states then. They don't need them. And they probably can't even really garrison them. That's going to probably be a little better for us. There you go. Just because... Ooh. Something like that, maybe. Just because they don't have probably the manpower to put down resistance here. Uh, we've been doing pretty well here, though. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, they got all of this. How much manpower do they, do they have left? Construction repair? Eh, yeah, they don't have that much. 32. They have three divisions. Holy cow. Hondo, huh? San Antonio the Alamo. Canceled Lend Lease. Whatever. It is what it is. Got some more political power. Every cap for the army. The scavengers triumph. Great. We get a bonus to electronics technology. We'll take it. Recruit all mutants. Special mercenaries. Getting here. Meh, not really. Not really great stuff. Get more captain come. You know what? Let's do that one. Why not? That seems pretty useful. Caps. 10%. Uh, that's 10%. Caps income. Quarter props 133. If we go with the caps guy, because there's not much else we can really choose, then 146. Eh. 10% more isn't that much more, but hey, we'll take it. One army for Texas. Lanius approaches, protecting the northern flank. I want to keep going down here, though, so. Industry. Yeah, I'll do Daisy Roth. A fresh eye, a pair, fresh pair of eyes can go a long way. To avoid stagnation of thought and decline in innovation, we better do well to search for alternative perspectives in the wasteland. I think so far we've been doing very, very well. Ooh, let's do that one, anyways. I want to lower resistance and stuff like that. It costs us money, but we got 158, so not really too worried about that. 
Next up, actually, what do we have for trade nodes? We only have one. Yeah, we only have one, which kind of sucks. Cannery, as well as Gloria Estate. Ooh, that was getting us 126, which is not bad. 62, which is okay. Focus Fire is not bad. 32, 50. Twin Mothers. Yeah, I think we're already pretty much maxed out. Yeah. It's alright. Train Doggos? Yes, please. There's another comment from yesterday saying there, there's currently a bug, probably in the game, that makes the Provisional Republic of Texas, once you become them, become a tribal nation instead of civilized, so... That's not really ideal. Um, obviously, we don't want to become tribal, but... If it happens, it happens. Oh, we can always use console commands to get back to where we need to be, so... Not too worried about that if it does happen. Let's help out settlements as well, because I love helping out the settlements. We can only get 44 people a month. Not a lot, but we're still mobilizing slightly more right now. Lost, I love building up roads. Sometimes we're going to have to build up more than just roads. We're going to need more factorinos. Actually, you know what? Let's throw one military factor in there, too. There you go. Make it a little bit more exciting right there. Ooh, what else? Now, Alamo chapter. I'm not sure how things are going to work out. You know what? We could probably go to War. You know, let's go to War of the Patrol. Never mind. I didn't realize that they were actually allies of the Brotherhood. Well, they are for now. That's all we had to time. Let's grab some more ra radar. That'd be okay. Yeah, I didn't realize they were allies in Lafayette. The cannery? Oh. We're too far away from them to go to war with them. That sucks. Oh, well, that's gay. Can we go to war with all of these guys? Two pads are part of us. I mean, the Texan Economic Union is doing very well. What about Pecos Colony? Does Lelanius have anything for Pecos? A god to the tribes. Pecos. Nothing found for them. Field Surgery Doctrine. Let's go ahead and grab this Foxhole Doctrine as well. Do you guys have anything for Pecos? Currently, at least. Pecos. No one's going to war with Pecos. Well, I guess technically we don't have access to Pecos anyway. Uh, there is no connection here, which actually really, really sucks. Which is very weird, but okay. No way to get a Pecos colony. Kind of sad. Because that is Big Bend country, and we do need them in South Texas, Braxos Corridor, East Texas, North Texas. We could take out Oklahoma. I like that Arkansas is here, but when you actually click on Arkansas, it's actually Al Hajara, which I don't think is close to Arkansas, but I could be wrong. could be very wrong about that. What is Lanius up to, actually? A god to the tribes. What does that mean? Does he get Oklahoma, too, or... He gets more infantry research speed, okay? And the Brotherhood. Max in chapters. Towards Dog City... Refine mixtures, prepare for the march north. Lessons from a sister, strip the bunker to Dog City. He heal boy, lessons of the hang dogs. Masters of the Colorado. Oh man. Better stim packs, might as well, right? Gotta research, research, research as fast as possible. Recruit new minds, don't mind if we do. Let's go ahead and grab further industrial knowledge. The old world has many secrets to teach us on how to best optimize our industrial organization. Let's learn what we can, but make sure to remember our own discoveries. After that. Because these focuses take a little while to do. We can't do anything on the right side since we did win our portion of the Civil War. Lone Star Prospers gets Crown Jewel. It's not bad. I definitely want to get this stuff. Oh, we can become advanced in industrial technology. We should probably beeline down there. And then we'll come back and do this stuff. Because gets Unity Awaits. Probably wait. Oh, the Brotherhood is still... They went to war with those guys. Oh, boy. That is... Okay. Why not? Whoa. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was like glitched or something. Marley tried to clear one of the Rib Breakers. Good job. Well, good luck with you, to you guys. Y'all probably gonna need it. Go to max it out. We'll take as many soldiers as we can get for now. That's fine. Riders looking okay. We're not lacking any more equipment, which is good. Motorized. Even motorized is looking pretty good. We have five army XP. Let's go ahead and throw on another motorcycle. There we go. That's not bad. I kind of like it looking like this. Even though I kind of wish we could have the normal, what was it, 5x5 five five grid that Vanilla Hoi 4 uses, but whatever. Who dares wins? Yes, please. Alright, so we still get some daily army XP. That'd be nice. Actually, air XP. Are you still going up? We're not at war with anyone. I am very tempted to go to war with Oklahoma, though. But I'm going to probably wait. Maybe they can unify into one country. Well, I guess they could potentially do that. Unify into one country. But... Maybe not, since... Isn't this part of Oklahoma, too? North Oklahoma. Yeah. Lanyard took out northern Oklahoma, which is not good. They might not be able to unify then. Hmm. That would not be very bueno, now would it? Hmm. I guess technically we go to war with the Houston Rockets, probably. Yeah, I guess we might as well. 
Houston Rockets with a Brotherhood can take them over and pacify them for now. That'd be fine. How strong is a Brotherhood right now? What do they got? Brotherhood Consolidation. A thousand manpower. Sixty divisions. That's quite a few. Actually, the Bro Texan Brotherhood was the first nation I was going to play as, but then other people recommended I don't play as them. Yet. Fireteam Frenzies. Ooh, that's more production cost, but more soft attack. Demolition. De Ooh, Devastation. Radar. This lawn is my lawn. Oh, this the law is my lawn. The lawn is my law. Fort Hood forges, huh? Cool. Even more research. Ooh, let's come back to industry. Let's get some more output. That'll be good. It's always good to be prepared and get a lot more output. Mm, even if you come down here, contact loss. Well, that's not good. Show bang. Some of our scavengers went missing. Oh no 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 no. Let's go and send a rescue team. That's good. We found the expedition. Thank goodness. I got some political power back. Good. Yeah, how much money do we have now? Oh, that's that's quite a bit still. Do we have any organizations we can buy from? Tariff Relief, Butcher's Pete. Let's see. Can I sell for a thousand? That's not very much. Buy for twelve thousand. Wow. Five hundred units of it? Our opinion right now is what? At least five hundred? Ooh. Let's sell some. Cool. Just uh, have better opinions. Tariff relief is gone. Continue the I-20 restoration work. One of the few weaknesses of the I-20 trade is the state of disrepair of some sections. It's by no means poor quality construction, but titch-ups could certainly help improve it. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and grab some other stuff like rocket launchers. No, it's a little bit ahead of time. We're done with our land doctrine, which is nice. We might consider doing some of that as well. Air stuff. Let's grab some better air stuff. Lightweight metals. Yes, please. We haven't even gotten any close air support. That is not cool. Las Carangas is under attack. What do you expect? Ooh... Not bad. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Marler. Oh, Marler try is looking pretty good, in my opinion. Pretty darn good. Since I don't know exactly what states we we will, we will be able to core, I'm going to assume Cypher Warband is one. Or maybe not. We can't core uh, Los. Maybe not. Maybe not Los. I don't think we'd be able to actually core Los because it's under the occupation of super mutants and stuff. So, uh, oh, it is 300 political power, but it is 53,000 population there. That's quite a bit. How's this coming along? Oh, we're done with those factories, huh? Go and do that. We're going to need some radar down south. Definitely against both all these people here. So let's throw that in there. And then, eh, get one. Oh. Oh. Oh, they want the Alamo. Oh, no, no, no. This is awkward. Well, you should have stayed. You should have stayed with the Brotherhood. 80% nice. Good, good, good. And nice, we're all done with that stuff. Let's come back to industry and do. Ooh, we're ahead of time. 102 days, not bad. Don't mind if we do. Oh, don't lose. Oh, you already lost the Alamo. How did you do that? Don't lose Gonzalez, right? Oh, are they naval invading? Oh, they're naval invading. Oh my goodness. Oh come on, Tony, Catherine, Tony. Why? We like you. At least I like like her. But uh. Elder Emergency Authority, huh? You lost the Alamo. Come on, man. Port Lavaca? Lavaca. Anything else here? The senior Patrolman? Yeah, we'll probably do that one. Eh, that's kind of okay. I'm not really wowed by it. Texan Pride? Yeah, that'd probably be pretty good to do. Military Academy Training? Uh, I'm going to save the political power up for now, though. I wonder what would happen if we went from Freedom of Press to the State Press. More daily compliance, that's not bad. You lose 8% political power, which I don't like, but, you know, whatever. Alright, next up, let's grab some Troplane Attackers, because there's almost, like, no point using Tactical Bombers, as far as I know, since it doesn't help you that... Since you can't actually put them on your, like, soldiers or something. It's very weird, very, very weird, actually, that uh, you can't, like, add them to your planes. Maybe, that, maybe it's changed, maybe it's changed, actually. But, at least that was my case for a while. I'm actually going to lower this to three. Get more infantry equipment and then some salvage motorcycles. That'd be good. You know, whetstones, of course, again. New citizen scare package. How's that coming along? Resistance is looking great. Well, maybe it's over here. Marlock trap. Holy cow, you guys. Oh, there goes the NCR. She's looking pretty good, too, though. Oh, Marlock trap. That was probably a bad idea to go to war with too many people at once, but we'll see what happens. Who dares wins? Very nice. Let's pause it and. Oh. Yeah, we gotta go down the marksman rifle. I think that's unique, right? Is, it, is, it, is this unique? Maybe not. Well, we're used to ballistics. We'll probably stay with ballistics then, right? That's, we can some, get some suppression first. 
Suppression, I love suppression. Never enough, right? Never enough. Continue the Atomy Restoration work. You guys voted for us to restart the turbines, but we're going to do cutting edge developments first. A proud economy will ever grow stronger off the backs of scientific advancements. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Try and research as much as we possibly can before we actually become a different nation. Or more of a fulfilled nation. Lightweight metals, very good. Let's grab some monoplane fighters. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Alright, what do we have here? Riders. Yeah, we can make them a little bigger. It doesn't really matter, though. Rapid response. I mean, what else would we be throwing here? Dogs? We could. It does give you actually one more recon, which I do like. I was thinking about using fire teams, but we already have dogs unlocked. Fire teams would take a little longer to make. What if we did use them? I love the doggos, and this would help give them more recon as well. How many dogs do we have? We got plenty enough for spec ops at least. And you know what? We're going to use doggos on these guys too because I love imagining that we have d dogs riding in the sidecars of motorcycles. I think that'd be great. God, I want to get a motorcycle someday and ride and have a sidecar. I don't know. I just, whenever I saw this as a kid, I thought that was so cool. Oh, crap. That is not good. Wow. They're looking kind of thick, Santa Ana. I guess I still have to play Santa Ana sometime. Santa Ana seems very interesting. The, cal <laughs> the Caldillo. Cadillo? How do you pronounce that? Caldillo. Caldillo? Hmm. Just because I remember playing as the Iberian Union in TNO, and I thought that's how you pronounce it. Caldillo. Caldillo. Hopefully, Lanius does not attack. Hey, go for war for Houston. Sweet. Warden's next. You still don't have any air bases that are around here. Nice. They shouldn't take too long to take these guys out, right? Yeah. Oh god, Santa Ana owns so much. That's fine, just send him in. I'm just gonna give it all to the Brotherhood anyways. CQC training, nice. Let's go ahead and grab some real tactics. Now I know the Brotherhood uses laser weaponry, but I'm thinking we'll probably go ballistics. We'll probably gotta go ballistics, right? We gotta go ballistics. Point point nine three, oh man. Texan Economic Union doesn't help us, neither does Follower's Influence, so. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, we could definitely use those extra laser weaponry. Why is it going up so? Is it because of resistance? It might be. How much infantry armor do we have? 600 some. We could probably switch over some of this immediately. Ooh, let's see. Definitely right here. Mm hmm. Eden, I don't think we'd be able to do that. Hey, nice job, guys. Liber City, huh? Who? Ah, oh, there's Houston. The Mont. Sorry for the clicking. Just gonna move this quickly. What's that? Ten. Oh, the patrolmen or law lawmen or something like that. There we go. You should get that. Good job. And they own Houston. There you go. The Mont. Nice. Now we're big old... There's not a lot of other nations in Texas left. There's us, the Two Pads, which is the puppet of the Texan Brotherhood. Unity of Austin's with us. And then Santa Ana's got all Texas and Pecos Colony, so... Not bad. Who else do we go to war with, though? Natural disasters give everything we can. We lose a lot of money. We lose manpower? I don't want to lose manpower at all, so... Eh, it's fine. What am I going to do with money, right? Besides spend it. Kind of ahead of time, huh? Well, let's do this one. Refine tools. Cutting edge developments. Don't mind if we do. Scientific tech industry. Very good. Let's go and do restart the turbines. These turbines were once valuable sources of renewable energy for Texas through the Great War. Though the Great War brought them to halt, there's no need to write them off just yet. Get more electricity? Don't mind if we do. Spec ops? Don't mind if we do that as well. We definitely need more soldiers, though. So I think we can actually probably go ahead and increase this by two more and maybe train only one at a time, perhaps? Even more divisions? Oh, yeah, they came out too. Nice. Very good. How is our plane situation looking? Oh, uh, not bad, actually. Not bad. You know, I could have you guys train as well, just for funsies. So, 0 0.036 a day is not too bad. Buy you motors. Still can't go to war with them. What is the Texan Brotherhood doing right now? Oh, they're going to war with Petro Chico. Nice. Building the better workshop. That's cool. Ooh, let's see. Old rural blues. Oh, no. Provisional statehood, the always false. Focus will cancel the requirements are not met. Provisional statehood. Now, what does that do? Do they get to form the union, or do we get to form the union? Hopefully, we get to reform the union. 
I don't want them to take that away from me. No, thank you. Engine advancements, yes, please. Infantry, thank you. Oh, man, we, we just don't have enough. Why is it so much? What is eating into our resources besides making more divisions? We can lower that by one, lower that by one, but that's not going to help too much. Get some more output then. Infantry armor is doing great. Is it because it's got to be because of resistance, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Eden requires quite a bit. Holy cow! I'll switch you guys over to riders, and actually here, I think we can switch them all to riders now. That should be good, yeah. Minus two point seven. Yeah, we got plenty enough infantry armor for now. Minus two point seven five from division reinforcement. Oh, because I mean we are training too. That is true. Also take of Petrochico. Fourteen eighty one goes down to fourteen seventy six. Not bad. Monoplane fighters. Yes, please. Monoplane attackers. Yes, please. We're trying to move very quickly or as fast as possible while doing this. Ooh, triplane attackers. Yes, please. We'll put you down there for now. That'd be fine. Make sure we get more factories over there. And honestly, I should probably be making more military factories then. Ah, uh, infrastructure is cool and all, but have you had a lot of a lot of military factories before? Yes, because it has a high cost. Los, good, thank you, Los. Well, oh, that's quite a few more. Seventy-five it becomes what? Nothing. Okay, seventy-five is stuck. Maybe that's all we got. Hey, you got eleven thousand manpower though, and we did raise the conscription level. So mercenary front lines, not bad. We could do stuff up here, but now, nah. uh, expand stuff. Yeah, I want to expand advanced resource retrieval. We've hit a crunch, a crutch with our resource retrieval. Obviously, a valuable portion of the economy. We'll need to deal with the bottlenecks in order to further expand our industry. Very, very good. This is looking really bad, though. Holy cow. Warrior equipment. And that does help actually our motorized, too. So, actually, that makes perfect sense why we should go down that way. Hey, you get 1.1 uh, political power a day. Not bad. Better than before. Much better than before. We are on open to op traders, these guys, but eh, we're still doing really well in resources, so I'm not too worried about that, actually. Still mobilizing maybe a little bit more. Very nice. Plenty of manpower, which is good. I am just a little worried about how much of a border we have with these guys now. They are tearing up Petro Chico, so... Hmm. You never know. Next up, we'll get some engine advancements. How's the wasteland doing? Uh, Lanius. I still gotta play as Lanius sometime. Black Canyon, huh? Peace Conference. Oh, Warden was annexed as well as Robot City. Oof. Bombay Jacks Canyon, huh? Oh, wait, Diana's gone. I just realized that. Alkaya? Alkaya? Cool. Oh, what are we missing? Guns? Dogs. Ooh, last patrol declared war in Choctaw, huh? Wow, this is looking really bad. Everyone is killing each other. Well, better them than us. More agility? Why not? Get as much tech as we can possibly get done now. We got 32 days left, which means refined tools are next. And we can't do this. Scientific construction. We can't do this one probably. E oh, yeah, we can. It's a little bit ahead of time, so we're going to grab advanced tools. It's not that ahead of time, so we'll do that one next. Rapid prototyping would be nice. Guns. We are barely making any guns. My goodness. Yeah, we definitely need to make more military factories. So, boom, 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 boom. Four lines. Let's go ahead and get them done. Anything down here? Request fill hours eight. Yeah, might as well at this point. Research speed is okay. Nothing down there. 148 caps. How many caps do we have right now? That's that's uh, that's, that's quite a few. Oh, that's quite a few. We got trade nodes pretty good. What are the other trade nodes around here? Lone Star, Gloria, T double A, Houston as well. So, I guess we gave one trade node. To the Brotherhood. I mean, we could have taken that. But it'll be under us when, by the time we, we're done here, so. And that'll be good. Oh, come on, man. No. Research. I guess we could probably start doing this, too. Dark Star. Let's keep doing this, since we got the money, right? Not bad, not bad. And... Lone Star prospers. Our efforts haven't been for naught. Lone Star shines brighter every day, and its radiance will soon consume the waste. From coast to coast, everyone will soon sing the praises of Lone Star traders. Get more money and a crown jewel. We could make even more money by going multiple divisions, but I think we're kind of okay for now. That, or you can't change that for like four months. Four plus months, which is kind of nuts. Help settlements out. Black Canyon. Cool. 
14,000 manpower, obviously not enough. We got 77 population of every month. We got some rapid prototyping. Don't mind if we do. That's a little bit ahead of time for us. Let's go and grab some research speed first. That'd be good. And I'm trying to take as long as I can with um, our focuses. I want to get all the focuses done before we switch our trees. Because we do get a new focus tree once we become the Provisional Republic of Texas. Which I'm thinking is pretty darn decent. Oh, hold on. I didn't realize that we gave that territory to the Unity of Austin. And they just gave it up. Oh, crudderinos. Why did I give you this? Oh, they're out of manpower. That is not good. They have nine divisions. They need more manpower. I'd rather I'd rather that we take the divisions. Hold on, hold on. This is why this is why we have a lot of resistance here. Because you guys have so much gosh darn garbage down there. That's why. No wonder we're always out. You know what? I'm taking this territory back. I, I, I wanted to give it to them, but they gave up that other territory. You can have that one for now. But no. No, 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 no. I might take the other one too. That is ridiculous. Eradicate all resistance. No wonder we're losing all this stuff. It's the attrition that just eats our butts up. So bad. So bad. Let's go ahead and do... Let's go with more attack. No wonder. That makes sense now. Yeah, that, that attrition. If these guys can't keep it down, if this goes above like 96, I will take it away from them as well. Holy cow. Uh, sure, platoon training? Sure, why not? Oh, it's, it might be going down. That's good. 0.93. Okay, it is going down by 0.4 every day. Whew. Yeah, that, that's ridiculous. That just eats into our strength so badly. You know what? Don't even do that. Don't even come over here yet. I'd rather you all stack up around here. Get out of here. You're costing us, me too many resources that we should have easily kept and expanded our stuff. You know, I'm, I'm going to do that too. Lower resistance target. Just crush them here as much as possible. Because everyone else here is doing okay. But oh my goodness. Let's go and grab Senior Patrolman. That's fine. Might as well, right? If only 5% of our division organization, planning speed goes up, which is okay. But whatever. So after this, then we will choose as many benefits as we can before we become too much. Protect the northern flank. The river to our north provides a dangerous second front. Landings could employ against us. We must raise a fleet to defend the river. We get a whole set of 12 ships. And we get some more coastal forts, which is not bad. We get an army department. We can get another operative, which sounds very, very good for us. So, And very soon we should be able to click this. And... No, not yet. And... There we go. Lone Star Prospers. Get another operative. Augustus Wharton. Looking pretty cool. I like Albert Keys and George, but he's got two things here. i got to choose for two. i got to get them both. All right. Let's come back over here and not forget this. Machine-assisted decryption. we got plenty of money to do so. Advanced tools. Don't mind if we do. We could do that. We could do that. Let's grab some industrial fertilizer. Resource-wise, we're doing still really awesome. Fuel injection, not bad. Come over here. Can we do that? No. Let's get some better recon scout. Recon team kits. That's good. Good stuff. Now, this should be drastically improving. Because this, Mountain Home. Oh, my goodness. Please tell me it's still going down. 93. Oh! Oh, it's 0.2. It went up, and now it's going back down. Well, they're probably getting more compliance now. So that should help out at least a little bit. Went by, it just went down by 0. 0.4 and 0. 0.4 again. 0. 0.2, 0. 0.4. Okay, they, they, it looks like they might be changing their laws there maybe a little bit. Please tell me they're at least getting more compliance. No, they're not. Oh, crap. 92. 0. 0.2. 0. 0.4. Are you, what are they doing? Do I, do I have to take this territory from them too? I don't want to do that. Yeah, screw it. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to take it. They, they can't be held responsible for this. They're just not responsible with it. Eradicate resistance here. It's going to cost us a little bit more, but that's uh, it'll be fine. We're missing in infantry armor, infantry equipment, dogs. That's not going to be a problem where we're going, so platoon training is good. What else? Support equipment stuff. Better rocket launchers. Let's grab some better doggos if we can. No vehicles. Oh, we forgot about vehicles. Let's get some salvage cars. I forgot about them. Good. Another infantry division. Good. When do we lose these extra divisions? Because I don't like these veterans. I mean, they're okay and all, but they're costing me special forces cap, so I don't like that. Petro Chico and Mex Santa Ana has finished them off there. Miniature circuitry. Let's go ahead and grab some long range radio for better reinforce rate. Good, 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 good. How's this looking now? So, what if we do this? What does that give us? A chance of resistance activity? Yeah, keep crushing them. We need almost eight divisions worth to cut down 
the garbage here. 0.6. Hopefully it goes up a little higher soon. Compliance gain hopefully will come up. Good. Keep going down. God dang, that sucks. Given that to the Unity of Awesome was such a bad idea. Wow, the Lost Patrol is doing really well, though. Still gonna play as them, though, sometime. Equipment needed. Doing so much better. The armor, the equipment, and the dogs. Not too bad. Good, good, good. And let's go ahead and do... Lannis approaches. To our west, we're facing down an existential threat to our nation. Lannis' cohort is steadily rapidly expanding and soon threatens to drive deep into Texas. We must protect ourselves from this threat. Good. Very, very good. What are we doing? I mean, we built ourselves up very, very well. I guess we got to keep doing that, probably. Boom, and then boom, boom. And eh, I do that one too, why not? Defensive armaments, cool. Uh, we could do airplane bombers. Let's wait. Let's get some more radar first. You never know how long we're going to have all these options to choose stuff. Go ahead and do government staff for schools. Eagle Rock is gone. We got almost 15,500 manpower, which is delightful. A lot of technology. Meh. Industrial fertilizer. You know what, actually? We could do that stuff. We could grab some of this stuff. Let's grab some part standardization. I'm actually going to go do this instead. Petition for technology. It costs us 30 political power, but 10% more research speed could help us research this even faster so we can get through it even more. Just in case the bug still exists. So this way we have as much we can do as much research as possible right now, which would be good. 44, not bad. So that actually should kind of do okay for us. Compliance gain is still disabled. Whatever. Mm. If we were to do pacification now, we should be getting more compliance. 13.7. 14, 14.3, 14.7, nice, good, 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 and this will help us out, and actually at this point they still have Raider Incursions, Damage Garrison goes up, they were at local riots, Attrition plus 30%, that's a lot, Hostile Militias, and then Open Anarchy, oh. Recon Team Kits, cool, very good, get some more Hardness, that's good, yeah, no wonder we saw what was eating our butts up, we should be making a massive stockpile of guns, not, the, not losing guns, Tax breaks for factories, more growth is okay. Sand subways, dockyard output is okay. Monthly population, eh, business favors, meh. Not really worth it right now. Did we get that fleet? Not yet, we're working on it right now. Or, well, we. we... Haskell's up here. Um, Did we not get the fleet, actually? Did we, we didn't get the fleet. Okay, is that a is that, is that a bug? Because we have no ships. Um, a fleet of eight canoes and four sailing ships will be raised out of Haskell, ready to defend our trade. I guess at the time of this recording, is it a fleet? Do we have coastal forts at least around the area here? Then again, I guess we have forts or bunkers really in outposts. We don't have really la forts. Maybe they're here, but they're just not in the game. Okay, why not? Rally the Texan Brotherhood. Let's do one army for Texas. By following in the example laid for us from our Texan Brotherhood, we have cons considerable scope to reform our army. We'll delete the mixed mercenary template and remove all units created from this template. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's very weird. We don't have the ships. I don't see any ships around here. We didn't see any earlier, so I'm thinking maybe the game didn't make them? Maybe? Maybe points... Oh, it's barely going down now. That's not good. Salvage cards are good, though. Wasteland cards, very good. Oh, crap. Who was doing it? Lanius. Oh, I did not expect Lanius. I was going to expect Santa Ana first. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Look how much territory we've actually taken. That is not ideal. Um, there you go. Good luck. Oh, wait. Do we lose it? Do we lose our motorized? We must have... We lost the motorized to the resistance. Are you kidding me? God dang it. Yeah, given... Un Unity of Austin is pathetic. Oh, my goodness. They at least now they have manpower. Because we took away their stuff. Man, that blows. That really flipping blows. Man, that sucks. Make, make more to make up for it. Part standardization. That's good. Uh, get some recycling, I suppose. That would probably be okay with me. All right, so they're doing Rhombus's Dying Breath, Long Range Radio. Hopefully, uh, when we do this, or, or when they do go to war with us, we should have our allies on the front as well. We're actually out of divisions because the game kind of screwed us over. And that's not a good thing. Hopefully they attack us like crazy. 
over here over here I'm a little worried about these open waterways and we've got no spare divisions literally no spare divisions right now I don't want to do this but we gotta do that thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you at least get one division here good and you should be alive bye Captain Aaron Saunders yes please any upgrades Cutting Desert Fox inspirational good stuff very good stuff actually well, at least we made our guys 20 combat with. That's kind of okay, but... Hmm. Cut our losses. Yeah, go ahead and cut our losses. Might as well do that too. Why not? Anything else? They declared one of the Texan Brotherhood, which is not good. Group Dismetric Radar. Side Channel Attack. Why not? Oh, if we take out these guys now, that might be best. Machine System Decryption. Ballistic Fibers are actually very good for Special Forces. Get some Marksman Rifles. You might as well at this point. One army for Texas. Uh, patient teacher. Reinforce it's not bad. Research speed is not bad. Division defense on core territory could be really, really good, actually. Uh, Union financier. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Recruit new mines. Yeah, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll reason them now. Dorothy Daisy Ross is actually pretty good. If we don't go to war, then that's kind of okay for now. But it might be better to go to war now, get them done, kill them off, and then focus on Santa Ana that way. Yeah, we get all this extra territory. Are they going to go to war with anyone else right now? Lessons from the east? Oh man, I am not feeling good about this. But we should do relatively okay. Let's go, we'll do it. Let's see what happens. Now they're attacking our lines. Postcode modifications, cool. We can't do anything over there. Industry. Might as well go do this ahead of time, or just because we can get it done. Oh, they're giving us some resources to work with. Hopefully they hold. I said hold, hold, hold. I know you're special forces, but you gotta hold, hold, hold. Next up, we have no planes up north. That is not ideal. Oh, for the love of God, you cannot break. Oh, we just deleted those templates too. God dang it. <laughs> no. Rally the Texan Brotherhood. Uh, well, uh, let's wait for that. Let's do the enlarged submission to the Texan Brotherhood. Or, yeah, we might as well. If we were to expand some political effort, we can ensure that a larger delegation is sent to the Texan Brotherhood to ensure they continue to expand their industry. Yeah, it's not looking too good for us right now, especially once we get beat over there. So, I think I'm going to call an episode then. We'll come back and refresh ourselves in the next episode, even though you guys are just waiting here doing nothing. Oh, regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, when we hopefully will defeat Lanius tomorrow, and maybe form the Provisional Republic of Texas. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.